been a bit of a strange one today. Uh, I have actually sorted out most of the VHSs again because um, I had to be more brutal. I wasn't being brutal enough. So, and I still need to be more brutal. Brutal though, really. I found some great stuff though. Um, Dominion Tank Police. Uh, it was great. I nearly bought the DVD because the video is pretty uh, shag now. But uh, I managed to stop myself. Also, some quite shocking footage of me uh, on various uh, on a friend's boat and then on a boat I brought, brought bought and had for a little bit down in um, Maidenhead and um, just listening to myself speak and the general stuff I was talking about, I just worried that I am still the same annoying wanker that I seem to have been. But I spoke to a few friends through insecurity from back in the day and they said, no, John, you don't worry about it. We're uh, you always look worse than you are when you're on camera because you're kind of playing up or something. But I don't know. Maybe if people could let me know if I am as much of a wanker as I as I think I might be, that would really be nice. So um, I've only just uploaded the film for today, which is partly why I haven't done the show before because the other day when I was trying to upload a video and do the web chat, it just wasn't working. It was just uh, it was just far too slow. And um, I've got through three VHS players today as well. Uh, finally settled on the Samsung, which is transferring something at the moment. Where's that still going? Hang on a sec, just check. This is like the dubbing area, so I've got the computer on here. Let's have a look. Do you want to see it? I'll show, it to you. I'll show you some other bits in a minute. Stuff you may not even want to see. Okay. Oh, this could be. You know, I could steal a stapler and no one would know. <laughs> it's Alan Smithy's number. Probably the illegal embezzlement information hotline. Good. I'm glad I've got that. That is a tape I discovered, which is a pro uh, well, a kind of like a series of movies, really, called Mystery Science Theater 3000, where they actually had these. Uh, guys, one of whom's human and a couple of which are puppets and they sit down and watch horrible old B-movies and sort of comment all the way through it and it's quite sarcastic and uh, for most of it. So I just, um, I, my, 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 my poo just actually went out of batteries this morning, so which was lucky I think because I wasn't really going anywhere, or well, this afternoon I should say, live at one and all that. So today, so I didn't get a chance to do this, today I'm wearing my Hawaii sandals now it's only once in a while that something comes along that I like so much that I'm like, they're going to wear out and I'm never ever going to be able to get another pair again. It sounds like a really hard luck story, but I don't think I'll ever make it to Hawaii again. Not for a while anyway. And um, these are perfect. Not only do they have rainbow colours, you know, playing up on my perhaps, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? It's kind of, kind of uh, unknown sexuality. Um, some people know what it is. I don't. Then we've got very nice grips on the bottom, which are good for walking on, on corals and things like that. Then I found these jeans that I remember were uh, some of my favourites, and they were in the in the cupboard in the bedroom that I've, I've only just cleared out, thinking it would be easy. The clothes everywhere. Terrible. This I think I may have even worn before, but it's a, it's a padded jacket. It's been quite cold today, and I didn't want the heating up all the way, so I've put this on. Um, so, so yeah, I think this came from a market in um, in Budapest, and it within a few matter of hours the pocket rips there. Very thin material. I don't even know if it's possible to sew it. So underneath that, I've got my uh, especially my night clothes here. So I'll just uh, I'll just uh, get ready for bed. You can join me if you like. And what I'm going to do... Whoa! Whoa. I feel... These, these are like the ultimate in sex. Sexy, sexy nightwear. Because... Uh, that, that. Shh! No! Yeah, oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, don't look at that. Look at that, you see. 
So, whew, got away with that. So yeah, so what I've done is I've just uploaded uh, the Brighton Road movie and I started to edit it a few days ago and left it alone because I knew that uh, there'd be loads and loads stage invasion. There's stuff happening at rafters. This is really annoying me. My Andy and Lee are down there. So I just managed to upload this in time. And my girlfriend at the time, Amanda, I've just done a bit of stalking of her and she's uh, involved with animal rights and... Um, yeah, she's, uh, she's been up to uh, good stuff, which is good. Got involved with the badger, the cold stuff. So, yeah, she left me when she went off to uni. I'm not surprised. She was highly vegan and off to university. And I was a Christian and not going anywhere at the time. So, uh, anyway, I got my dear John letter. Very sad. So this is it. Brighton road trip. Let's just see if I can give you a couple of highlights. Um, A23. Oh yeah, it's always useful that thing at the bottom. Uh, uh, so much is there. Well, you get down to Brighton eventually. There's about two seconds of that, and then on our way back. Um, we did a little, this is the only bit which was like slightly edited in the wrong order so it looks like you see being friendly and saying hi to Ben and he's just going to do that that was actually quite heavily edited that piece and then we try and pass the bottle between the cars and we both start laughing and uh, that's probably going to be taken down because it's got some it's got some Prince music on it um, so yeah, I, I was tempted to upload it without any edits and see what happens. I've, I've, um, project for tomorrow is to really properly be brutal now. I've got the gazebo outside, that's got most of the VHS tapes on it. I've got a stack of blank VHSs that I want to keep for some reason as well. Like really, they look like they're really well preserved. The blank, I think they might have fallen in to one of the bags possibly. Uh, when I might have been working somewhere, but I don't know about that. I'm a bit, I feel a bit bad if that happened. You know, some people might steal the odd pen from the office, but to go home with a few blank VHSs, and don't worry, it was way, way back in the day. Way, way back in the day. So I've got my, my stuff. I, I think I showed this to people earlier. The VHS rewinder. Very, very good. Let's see it in operation, if you like. We have the wonderful Smile Orange production that I... Rescued from one of the VHSs I brought upstairs that seems to have trouble with its control track. It keeps like whirling and picture keeps going like that. Let's just slam it down. There it goes. I found that picture. In fact, I've found, been finding loads of pictures and things I want to scan. That was my master plan for after the MA. That. There's some of these things. And then I did say I was going to just scan stuff. After after this imposed thing, and uh, no, I might I might start now. That's just a VHS special, uh, widescreen special edition. But the tape was all mouldy, and but I kept the box for some reason. That's Matt, so who's in the video? He was shooting the camera footage there, so I might ask him if he wants the thing. So. Um, Here's another one of the Star Wars things that was never in the original Star Wars um, what's it I was putting on so uh, that's got to go join all the rest of the Star Wars stuff to be got rid of at some stage uh, here, here are the socks I was wearing yesterday that, that's broken but that's uh, Bugs and I, w I was saying yesterday they are saying Bugs Bunny was the first ever gay cartoon character actually he's just a cartoon character I don't like all that. Spongebob, people say he's like a gay cartoon character. Now watch this, watch what happens when it gets to the end of the tape. It's nearly getting there. And... Action! Look at that. So... I don't know why you wouldn't use a video camera to who are, so the VHS recorder to do that. So let's just go for a little walk. So yeah, it's going to be really cold out there. Uh, so yeah, so it's all it's all pretty much the same. Um, done the washing up, 
Um, I guess I ought to try and get ready for some. Let's do some music stuff. Oh, where's the guitar? Look at the state of this. There's stuff everywhere. There's the snow outside. That's it. Oh, it's not bright enough as usual. Right. So have we gone past midnight yet? No. So yeah, we have well past. Okay. I've still got to contact the people I've uploaded this video from to say if it's all right. Oh yeah, that's one of the things I've got to find out if that still works. That was something my friend Justin gave me to look after for him. It's never come back. He's one of the guys who turned up in the vid one of the videos actually. Got him to say some really personal stuff on camera, so I don't know whether I should upload that. Okay, so let's put that there. Oh. Yeah, that's almost, almost a perfect shot. Okay. So seeing as uh, there's a bit of Queen in um, in the video I've just uploaded, let's see if it's still in tune. It's good enough. Okay. Do a bit of crazy little thing called love. You start on the D, get the little finger ready. So you go. Now I'm not even sure if it goes to C or because it might go C. But I think it might do both. Hang on, let's try it. This thing called love, I just can't handle this thing called love. Da, 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 So I mean I am feeling quite subversive because uh, it is a Saturday night, there's guys down raft just having a great time, I'm in my nightwear feeling a bit horny to be honest but, but you know obviously there's nothing I can do about that um, apart from <laughs> Watch one of the shocking videotapes I found, the Cannes Film Festival 2000, which has some particularly good, uh, I don't know what you'd call it really, I guess in some cultures you'd call it pornographic material, um, I don't know what you'd call it in the, you know, in England, but... Um, but it's you know of, of a quality that is is so poor it's actually hilarious. So I'm really tempted to just to keep a little bit of it because it's dubbed German pornographic material, <laughs> and there's just some of it that just makes me giggle. Uh, because back in the day it used to make me giggle, giggle, and it's just wrong. I shouldn't keep it, but just I think that I'll sign off on my my favourite favourite exclamation which is Das ist eine Klasse Arzt, and uh, we'll leave it at that. Okay, night, night, folks. Hope you had a good Saturday night. Bye now.